Elton John sang backing vocals and played piano on this John Lennon song. Lennon didn't think much of it as a hit, so he made a bet with Elton if it reached number one on the charts, he would join him live on stage. Find out which song we're talking about coming up on Rock Music History Lesson. Elton John and John Lennon knew each other back in the day because Elton and the Beatles had the same music publisher, Dick James. Their friendship deepened when Elton asked Lennon to come to the studio and play on his version of the iconic Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Lennon sang backing vocals and played guitar on this track, which was recorded in Colorado at Caribou Ranch, a studio where many other renowned artists like Chicago, Michael Jackson, and Earth, Wind and & Fire also recorded. When John Lennon recorded Whatever Gets You Through the Night, the Beatles had gone their separate ways for about five years. According to May Pang, John and Yoko's assistant, Lennon's inspiration for the song came from watching TV. In an interview with Radio Times, Pang said, quote, At night, John loved to channel surf, and he would pick up phrases from all the shows. One time he was watching Reverend Ike, a famous black evangelist who was saying, let me tell you guys, it doesn't matter. It's whatever gets you through the night. John loved it and said, I've got to write it down or I'll forget it. He always kept a pad and pen by the bed. That was the beginning of whatever gets you through the night. Unquote. At the time of writing, Lennon was living a relatively wild lifestyle in Los Angeles during what was referred to as his lost weekend period, 1973 to 1975. He had separated from Yoko Ono and lived with his assistant, May Pang, while partying heavily. This phase of his life, filled with excess, also contributed to the song's message of doing whatever helps you endure. Elton John repaid the favor later that year in 1974 when Lennon asked him to come and record with him in New York. Elton played piano and provided backing vocals on Whatever Gets You Through the Night. Lennon, unsure of the song's commercial potential, made a lighthearted bet with Elton. If the song reached number one on the Billboard charts, Lennon would join Elton on stage for a live performance. To Lennon's surprise, the song hit number one, and he fulfilled his promise by performing at Elton John's Thanksgiving concert at Madison Square Garden in November 1974, marking Lennon's last major live performance. That evening, the two of them also performed the Beatles' I Saw Her Standing There, and Elton said it was one of the greatest songs ever. By the way, I Saw Her Standing There is on the flip side of Elton John's 45, Philadelphia Freedom. Yoko Ono caught up with Lennon backstage, ending his 18-month break from her. Whatever Gets You Through the Night reflects the mix of humor, struggle, and the search for personal freedom that characterized much of Lennon's life during that period. The tenor sax was played by Bobby Keys, who is recorded with the Rolling Stones. The clavinet was played by Ken Asher, who is an American jazz pianist, composer, and arranger. He co-wrote Rainbow Connection by the Muppets with Paul Williams. John Lennon's song, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, was released in 1974 and is on his Walls and Bridges album. It became his first number one solo single in the U.S., and his second number one was Just Like Starting Over in 1980. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, hit that notification bell. It'll let you know when we upload a new video. Hey, like us, share us, and as always, thank you for watching Rock Music History Lesson. I'm K.W. King.